Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today we're taking a look at uh, some of the basic rules for calculating derivatives. Right now we're going to take a look at the rules for calculating derivatives of logarithmic and natural logarithmic functions. <coughs> now the first thing we want to look at here is uh, the change of base formula for a normal logarithm. Uh, a normal logarithm base a of x is going to equal uh, natural log of x over natural log of a. Uh, we changed the base because this is a lot easier to work with and uh, we're going to see how easy it is to calculate the derivative of log a of x using this change of base formula because we know the derivative of the natural log of x. So the derivative of the natural log of x is simply 1 over x. And again, if this wasn't simply x, uh, you would need the chain rule, which we took a look at a little bit earlier. Um, and the uh, derivation of these formulas can be found uh, in uh, other lectures um, on uh, logs and natural log, as well as in our differential calculus series, uh, by, all by David Massey. Um, so you can take a look at that uh, for more resources or a little more in-depth information. Um, now, the derivative of log a of x, we could just change that to the derivative of ln x over ln a, and then we could treat 1 over ln a as a constant because it's not going to have any change on the derivative of this. So we have 1 over ln a times ln x, and we want the derivative of that. It's simply 1 over x ln a. The constant doesn't change. We still have ln a in the denominator, and we have it multiplied by 1 over x because that is the derivative of what's in the numerator. Now we're going to go ahead immediately and take a look at uh, just some examples involving uh, natural log and logarithm, maybe one or the other. So the first one we're going to take a look at requires us uh, to use the product rule, which we've been using extensively in calculating uh, derivatives. So it's going, the derivative of this entire term together, it's ln x times log a of x, if you, in case you couldn't tell. It's going to be the derivative of this first term times log a of x uh, plus natural log of x times the derivative of this second term. And we can simply uh, multiply this all out, which is going to be 1 over x times log a of x. Plus ln x all over um, a, or excuse me, x ln a. Again, if we use um, the change of base formula to make this ln x over ln a, it's very simple to see that without that term, that's what the derivative of that is, and then you multiply through by what f of x is. So using the product rule, that's the derivative of this first expression. We're going to take a look at the second expression. Now we need the chain rule to calculate the derivative of this. The derivative of the entire thing is going to be 1 over 4x squared. But now we need to go ahead and multiply it by the uh, derivative of this, say, g of x, if you want to call 4x squared g of x. And the derivative of that, using the power rule, is simply 8x. Now we have 8x over 4x squared. The 1x uh, in the uh, numerator cancels with one of the x's in the denominator, and we're left with 2 over x. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, this last function. We need uh, a couple different rules to calculate this. We're going to need um, the derivatives of uh, exponential functions. We need the derivatives of logarithmic functions. And we need the product rule. So let's take the derivative of this first function here. It's just uh, the natural log of 5. Uh, times um, 5 to the x. There's no, uh, no specified term in the uh, exponent. The x is just x, so we don't need to use the chain rule on this one. Uh, now subtracting the 5 log 3, 
of x, we have the base, it's 3, so on the bottom it's going to be ln3, and we have 5 on the top, uh, multiplying that constant through. And then this last term, we're going to need to use the product rule. We're going to have uh, x times the derivative of ln x plus the derivative of x times ln x. So the derivative of x is just 1, so we're going to add an ln x. And the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and we're multiplying that out by x, so it's just going to be add a 1 for that term. And this is our final derivative of this. So again, for a more extensive derivation of these formulas, please take a look at uh, some of our other differential calculus uh, lectures, or you can also take a look at the Differential Calculus book by David Massey. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.